Hey, what's up guys? This is Juice Guy Beats with JuicyDrumKits.com here with a quick tutorial on how to chop and break down your samples using Logic Pro 10. This is a quick overview so I may leave some things out but it's just to give you an idea on how to get, break your samples down and get them to a point where you can manipulate them and do what you want with them. For example's sake, I already got the section I want to use uh, shortened down but I'll play it back for you. Alright, cool. So, I already got an idea of what I want to do with that, conveniently. <laughs> so, I want to chop it here. I'm going to go ahead and split it by the playhead. That's one section. This one was good, too. Let's split it by the playhead again. And this one, too. I'm just doing it real quick so you guys can see. And great, that's my four sections I want to use. Now I'm going to go to the EXS24 sampler, open it up, uh, select edit, and I'm going to now, all these windows all in the way, geez, uh, I'm going to select my four samples and drag and drop them directly into the edit window and I want to leave all these settings the same I want the zone width to be one note it's fine if it starts on C1 and you want them to be uh, contiguous because that means that all your keys will be next to each other and you won't have to scramble around your keyboard trying to find where your samples are so okay cool that's how we want them let's go ahead and save this demo instrument whatever you can name it whatever you want just make sure you save it and let's go back to the main sampler window and we can already play our samples back using the keyboard but as you can hear they're overlapping we don't want that so let's go ahead and change the voice settings to one Pretty cool, right? I can just get in and play them right away. That didn't take very long at all. Now we can get a little creative with the sampling as well. If you ever want to edit uh, how your samples are being played back, go to this uh, envelope 2 down here and adjust uh, whatever settings you think will make it right. So let's get rid of some of those uh, pops that we're getting by increasing the attack. That already sounds smoother and better, right? Pretty cool, and it didn't take long. You can also get creative by adjusting the tune or the pitch of your samples. Uh, the higher you have it, the faster your sample will go. The lower you have it, the slower it'll go. So let's crank it up. Now let's turn it down. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, I hope that gave you a pretty good understanding, general understanding of how to sample using Logic Pro 10. It's really easy and fun to do. All you got to do is have a general idea of what you're doing. Um, if you thought this was helpful, please leave a comment in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. If you need songs to sample, you're looking for new resources like that, I'll put a link to a good article I created for that as well. It has a lot of good places you can find new samples at. Alright guys, thanks for watching.